So Frozen came along after the plight of me being like, there's no place in musical theater for me. I quit. And really? Then, um, yeah, yeah. I kind of was like, there aren't any parts. There just aren't, people are not writing the roles that I want to see me in. Um, and uh, Sutton Foster, who's a huge Broadway star, um, re uh, director reached out to her as he was doing a production of Violet. And he asked her, do you know anybody who can play Flick? which is like a, a lead, the leading man role in the show. Right. And yeah. she gave him my name and I got a call being like, hey, they, would you want to play Flick in Violet? And I was like, I can't, I, I uh, that's a big sing. I don't know, I haven't sung it. Uh, these chords are really dry. Um, but I said, yes, because I was like, all right, let's, let's go for the challenge. Um, and in that challenge, I found my love for, for singing again. Um, and then my manager was like, come back to New York and we'll figure something out. And one day I was just like bored in my house. And I was like, there's an open call for this show, Frozen. Um, I saw the movie. I mean, there's no black characters in it, but like, let me go in and see what happens. And then I end up landing the role. <laughs> you know, the was... whitest musical possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah truly. <laughs> truly. Um, and... I mean, they added Sterling K. Brown in the second one because I think they felt bad, but... <laughs> I mean, they <laughs> needed to add him. I mean, they needed some more um, flavor up in that pot. A um, little bit. <laughs> but um, but I was so glad that 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 was my entry into the into into the forefront of the commercial theater because that's what I have been doing all my life. Like you know, mm. playing the cat in the hat, playing the MC, not letting race kind of um, prevent or kind of uh, stop me from playing different certain characters. Um, I kind of grew up with this uh, mentality that I could play anything I wanted to. Um, and so that's why when I saw they were bringing me in for Kristoff, I was like, yeah, that makes sense to me because why not? I could play that too, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so I had a great time with that. I wish I had seen it from the clips I've seen. It looks like you killed it. Uh, you rocked the look as well, which is not easy to do oh, with all those layers. We love, we love a, a nice sweater that shows off the bicep, that shows off the form. <laughs> we love it. We love it. I heard you eat a lot of junk food. How do you how do you stay so fit? I know that's like a stupid red carpet question, but I'm genuinely who interested. Who, who I'm told genuinely... you I ate a lot of junk food? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, so I would eat pizzas during intermission of Frozen. We would order the pizza right around like 20 minutes into the show, right before I get, right before I make my first entrance. And by the time I came off stage for intermission, the pizza would be there. I would grab the box, go up to our room and me and the two boys who played Sven were all in the same dressing room. And we like, our show was very athletic. Like we were running around trying to pick up after these damn princesses making a mess and, and destroying the world. I need something to eat and refuel. Um, and so we would have pizza, we would have um, chicken fingers a lot. Um, and I, I think that like at the end of the day, I ended up sweating most of it out. Wearing winter clothes through the hottest days of the summer on stage was not fun. You're um, like the Michael Phelps of Broadway. Oh my gosh, just like swimming in my own costume. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I, who left that puddle on the floor? Not Elsa, it's me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh um, man, um, yeah, yeah, sweat never bothered you anyway. Um, so <laughs> did, how many shows did you do a week? Yeah, we did eight shows a week. Eight shows um, a week. Jesus. Which is rough on the body, especially because, you know, I had a stunt where I like fell through a bridge in the show and that started to hurt my back. Um, but like, it, it's rough when you do an H. People think that Broadway performers got it easy doing the same thing over and over again, but it is really rough to do those two show days back to back, especially when it's a five show weekend. Um, wow. And then that you're sounds... also like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy and it's madness. I mean, then you're also like trying to live your life and like go for drinks with friends. And then you're like, I really can't, I really got to get in this cab and go home and sleep. Or you're like trying to do family functions and you have to like miss them or like call out of the show to go to your like sister's graduation and things like that. Um, and then you're still auditioning during the day for the next project. So it's it's kind of madness. Um, yeah. And you kind of just, you kind of get used to spreading yourself super, super thin. And so that's how you stay healthy when you eat junk food. <laughs>